Over the 13 year history of Minecraft, there have been some iconic custom maps brought forth to the community. Whether it was bringing a mass of people together on YouTube, pushing a Minecraft challenge to its absolute limit, or just simply presenting the game in a different way, there's no doubt that the map making community has made a gargantuan impact on Minecraft's community since it began and played a huge role in popularizing the game to the general public, especially in the early days. And so today, I'd like to take a nostalgic journey into some of the most famous Minecraft maps ever created, and maybe shine some light on ones you may have somehow never heard of. So sit back, grab your favorite drink, cozy up, and enjoy the trip through 10 Minecraft maps lost to time. I'd like to start this video with my personal favorite and most nostalgic map, the original Survival Island. Released in December of 2010 by Ashian, this map was originally made popular by the Yogscast. Yogscast, Lewis, and Simon began the Survival Island series in early January of 2011, just about a week after the map was made. The concept of Survival Island is incredibly simple. You begin the world on a resource-starved island featuring one tree, a bit of sugarcane and cacti, and a tiny amount of dirt. Originally, the only rules set by Ashian was you could not leave the island, and you could not mod the game in any way. Over the years though, players have come up with their own set of challenges for the map, giving it more life and a different experience every time it's loaded up. It provided a new challenge that players weren't really used to in 2010 to 2011. It completely spiced up Minecraft as we knew it, and the mind-blowing part is that it's so simple. I mean, I doubt when it was created, Ashian ever imagined how iconic this map would become. Now the original form thread by Ashian is still up, but the post itself has since been discontinued. However, you can still find the map in a different Minecraft form thread I've linked below. You know the funniest thing though? The very first reply to the original post was a hate comment, calling the map pointless and stupid. I wonder how you're doing these days, the taco 1234567. Continuing on with the Yogg's cast nostalgia real quick, the next logical iconic map would be the Shadow of Israfel adventure map. If you're unaware, and I guess spoiler alert, even though it's been literally 12 years. God, that makes me feel 1,000 years old. Shadow of Israfel is a story-driven continuation of the original Survival Island series. It features Yogg's cast Lewis and Simon getting rescued by a large airship and going on this grand quest to save the world. I know they'll probably never watch this video and this statement is 12 years too late, but just in case. Guys, you literally broke the only rules of the map. Ashian said no mods and don't leave the island and you managed to do both in one fell swoop. Grumpy old man criticism aside though, we have to put ourselves back into 2011 Minecraft YouTube. A time when not only Minecraft as a game was up and coming, but YouTube itself was still pretty experimental. People were just kind of figuring out what other people wanted to watch and this was absolutely the case for Minecraft. That being said, the Shadow of Israfel map deserves a spot on this list because it pioneered a new way to present Minecraft in a YouTube video. A creatively genius story told through a sandbox game, something that hadn't really ever been done before on the platform. Minecraft YouTube was really just a sea of let's plays back then. It was kind of surreal visiting the places alone on the map, like the Astley Residence, the Great Desert Wall containing the spread of the sand, the cemetery, Fumblemore's tower. It gives an almost eerie and liminal feeling to explore it, but in a good way. Shadow of Israfel will forever live on as a core memory for many. Would it really be a famous old Minecraft map list video without the Temple of Notch? Perhaps the most famous and iconic map on this list, the Temple of Notch was created and released in the fall of 2011 by FV Disco. It is a large replica of the head of Minecraft's original creator Notch, carved into a mountainside. You could enter the temple by throwing a quote-unquote offering to Notch through a small pool just outside. This would hit a pressure plate below, activating a piston door system to open the doors to the temple. You are then met and judged by the face of Notch, randomly either giving you loads of treasure or dropping you to your death below. The best thing about the Temple of Notch is that it was one of the first popular maps to feature a large amount of redstone functionality, 
as Redstone was still in its infancy at the time. Also, while it was probably the least popular of the three major Minecraft urban legends, there was a myth floating around that you could find the Temple of Notch hidden in your Minecraft world. This myth began alongside of the Herobrine and Aether myths. Of course it wasn't true along with the other two, but it brings me a wave of warm nostalgia juice just thinking about that. The Temple of Notch will forever stand as a monument to Minecraft maps and the game as a whole. Much, much better Mount Rushmore, if you will. When you think about and discuss minigames or maps that pioneered the way for old, up-and-coming Minecraft servers, you can't talk about the topic without mentioning the dropper. The original dropper map was released in July of 2012 for Minecraft 1.2. The concept of the dropper was incredibly simple. You free fall while avoiding obstacles to make it to the bottom of the level. If you hit an obstacle, you died of fall damage and were reset to the beginning of the level you were on. The original dropper map featured 16 levels with mind-blowingly good builds along the way for the time. I will never forget falling through the massive kitchen or seeing the giant skeleton. It was just such a simple yet creative concept that was so addicting and cathartic to play. And I mentioned that it paved the way for old servers because the developers made it super easy to add it to your Minecraft server. And it was one of the original catalysts for mini game based servers as we know them today. I mean, you can literally still play a version of the dropper on Hypixel and it is still super popular and fun. Like most of the maps on this list, the dropper presented yet another different way of playing the game and expanded the Minecraft sandbox even further. Super quick interruption, and I really don't want to be that YouTuber, but consistently over 90% of you are not subscribed to the channel. So if you're enjoying this journey through historical Minecraft maps, subscribe if you're new to the channel. It's free, and if you end up getting irrationally angry at seeing my face pop up on your feed, you can freely undo your subscription at any time. Also, leave a comment below letting me know your all-time favorite Minecraft map, or any stories and memories you have from the maps I've listed. Okay, sorry to interrupt, back to the video. What comes to mind when you think of the most timeless Minecraft map? Or a map that has been modified and twisted into a bazillion different variations? For me, the answer to both of those questions is Classic Skyblock. Released in late 2011, the classic Skyblock Challenge is a play on the survival island genre of maps where you start on a tiny island floating in the void with extremely limited materials. So screw the rules from survival island of not being able to leave the island, in Skyblock, you leave, you die. There was one tree and one chest, and in the chest you were given the materials to make a simple cobblestone generator. I'll never forget the first time I tried Skyblock not really knowing how things worked, and I made obsidian immediately. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there. Using the cobblestone, you could expand the floating island around and reach other islands that had blocks and items unobtainable on the initial one. It was an even harder version of Survival Island and was a refreshingly difficult grind and challenge. Also, there was a massive community forming around Skyblock thanks to the many, many YouTubers trying their hands at a Let's Play back in the day. And what's great about classic Skyblock in that sense is many big YouTubers' first big break came from posting about Skyblock all those years ago. And like I said in the intro, this played a huge hand in getting Minecraft onto more people's minds as it trended all over the internet. Which, side note, we have to applaud Notch for a second. He literally did not have to advertise his game at all. The players did it for him, for free. Best business model of all time. Anyway, Skyblock became so huge that variants and recreations became rampant, and Skyblock today is as popular as ever, with massive servers like Hypixel turning it into an entire game within the game within the game. While the original map might seem boring and dry nowadays, I recommend you just give it a shot again, for old times sake. You might be surprised at how fun it still can be. Speaking of old Minecraft YouTube, there have been many iconic maps that were created over the years by beloved longtime creators. One of, if not the most famous of these, was Dan TDM's Lab. Now one of the all-time kings on YouTube, back in 2014, Dan provided a charming, creative take on Minecraft YouTube videos through his custom mod adventure series. 
It was a combo of a fictional story and a Minecraft Let's Play, two things that really hadn't been put together before. He created the character Dr. Treoris, which is literally just a reskinned Minecraft villager who became one of the most recognizable Minecraft fictional characters of all time. Dr. Treoris lived in this laboratory, where Dan began most of his crazy adventures and videos in the world. It became a beloved site by millions of viewers and something that a lot of people remember fondly. A mark of the beginning of something amazing. So many people to this day comment about great memories they have from the custom map adventure series, and it's truly wonderful and inspiring to think how many lives it has impacted. And it all began here, in this lab. One of the other longtime Minecraft YouTube kings, Captain Sparkles, gets his spot on this list because of the Fallen Kingdom music video series. In 2012, Captain Sparkles, or Jordan Marin, released a series of Minecraft parody music videos, beginning with a parody of Coldplay's Viva La Vida called Fallen Kingdom. This was an incredibly high-level production at the time and something that we had never really seen before. The original map used to create the music video was released to the public and became an icon in the Minecraft animation scene as well as everyone's childhoods, and thus makes the list of famous Minecraft maps. Which oh yeah, we've been talking about the pioneers of certain subsets of Minecraft maps and Minecraft content, and Jordan definitely gets the nod for pioneering modern Minecraft animation. It's actually mind-blowing how nice this looks for a 2012 video. Now, he's made quite a few videos on the Fallen Kingdom concept over the years, and even released a new music video and played through an adventure map variant super recently. There's also a Fallen Kingdom SMP, so it doesn't really fit the Lost to Time title, but in my opinion, the original map definitely does. And so yeah, definitely gonna have the Fallen Kingdom song once again stuck in my head for the next week. The last YouTuber map to make this list is a timeless classic, Skygrid. Created by once prominent Minecraft YouTuber Seth Bling in May 2012, Skygrid is a super eccentric take on challenge survival maps. As the name suggests, it's a large gathering of different one by one block islands littering the Minecraft world in a grid-like pattern, suspended in the void. There are no set challenges, Seth left it up to you to decide what to do in Skygrid. This is probably the least famous of the bunch I've talked about in this video, but it still holds a special place in my heart, as it was the first custom survival map I personally played after Survival Island. Still, there were some iconic series that came out of it, featuring vintage Ali A and Vicstar. I know I'm entirely beating a dead horse when I say this again, but it really did provide a new concept to Minecraft challenge maps. It's similar to Skyblock, yet way more challenging and punishing of mistakes. One could argue it also inspired even more difficult challenges of Minecraft in today's age, like the one block challenge, surviving an entire world on literally one Minecraft block. All in all, Skygrid definitely left its mark on the early days of Minecraft mapping and YouTube, but has since faded as the years go by. Minecraft Java isn't the only place for nostalgia trips. This one goes out to all my console homies, the Xbox 360 tutorial map. Nowadays, I play PC Java Edition pretty much exclusively, but I actually did play the Xbox 360 version quite extensively when it came out. I'll never forget when I borrowed my older sister's credit card to buy it on my Xbox. I still think I owe her the $20 to this day, actually. Sorry, sis, I'll get around to it eventually. But anyways, the point is, the Xbox 360 tutorial level sits in a fond part of my and many others' brains' nostalgia centers. What you're seeing on screen is a Java Edition remake of the map, which I've linked in the description if you want to check it out. The tutorial level gives you instructions on how to play the game with a controller, and guides you through a pre-built world which is chock full of charming little tidbits. The reason this map hits home for so many people is that it was likely the first time you booted up the game on console after your parents gifted it to you, or a gift from a relative or a family friend for your birthday or holiday, or you saved up enough lawn mowing money to buy it for yourself. That feeling of happiness and dopamine of playing for the first time. That feeling that is just kinda hard to come by these days, even when discovering a new game. 
It's cliche, but man, it really did just hit different back then. And last, but certainly not least, Herobrine's Mansion. The legend of Herobrine is known even beyond the Minecraft community and is arguably the most popular urban legend in gaming of all time. But shout out to Bigfoot and GTA San Andreas, I'm still a believer. Herobrine's Mansion was an absolute legendary build on the super early days of the Hypixel server in 2012. It is an epic co-op adventure map featuring boss fights, custom monsters, unique items and textures, and of course, the legendary Herobrine. It is widely considered the grandfather of adventure maps, not because it was the first or anything, because it wasn't the first by a long shot, but it raised the standard for adventure maps so high almost immediately. It still stands as one of, if not the best adventure maps ever made. And the fact that it was made for co-op play meant many young people were joining together to defeat all of the challenges it presented. An online community was building around this map and old friendships and camaraderie were forming. And of course, for us nostalgia junkies, this is the literal blueprint of feeling nostalgic over a moment in the past. Remembering the good times of jumping into a Skype call to play Herobrine's mansion after school. A simpler time when the only responsibility was planning for the next boss fight. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you enjoyed this nostalgic Minecraft map video, leave a like and let me know. Leave a comment with your thoughts and any other maps you think deserve to be on this list. Subscribe if you're brand new around here and want to see more videos just like this one in the future. I genuinely appreciate your existence and your time. I love you all so, so very much, and I'll see you in the next one.